case, unskip them. And see, I really hope this isn't cold. Okay, well, you said you can watch the interview. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Off, like, the debris, turn, which is on space industry. Uh, space engine debris turn, skipped up, and then T. case enough to render a negative valid. Their evidence never concludes that there would be no way to launch any satellites in this ass world. This is just proven by the fact that we can launch satellites now if we win our risk of launching should blow our permanent. On skip up. They are extending that it won't pass the pre that they can't win the day. They have to evidence that there, are no, there have to be economic ties to the alliance posture and skip this to this. It means impact is inevitable addition to the concede and treating this a logical policy to make the new boat. There's no risk of offense to justify a negative valid. Uh, it's key. The 1AR is not responsive to my 2AC and the 1AR on T. They are making huge concessions. The first is the Sharma evidence which indicates that the director of the NSO said that 80% of U.S. defense satellites are provided by commercial operators. Proves that the commercial satellite satellites are owned by the U.S. because we are literally launching, uh, because of this, we are literally launching, our military satellites are uh, owned by the U.S. And extend our counter interpretation that its means can be associated in some way with. And they are conceding affirmative ground, which is where you can pull the trigger. They limit the topic to three affirmatives as the one in our uh, concedes that debating about three affirmatives all along, all season long, is going to kill our education and lead to bad debate, bad repetitive debates, just like, like the camp tournament. And we and extend literature. That cooperation is normal means. Obama's NSP is rooted in cooperation. Um, Improve that cooperation is normal means. Their limit standard first excludes the farmers with no USP warrants and solvency advocates check back and the ground sign is irrelevant to the point where they are not severing any of the links and they got the kind of playing ground they wanted they just decided not to go for it and this proves that there is no in-round abuse with me but T is not going to be a voter and we are not effectively topical plan and vacuum of it is not how you should evaluate the farmers topicality. The plan action is to sign a commercial space launch agreement with India allowing us to access their launch facilities. This means that we decrease the cost of launches of because of the increase in availability. This probably means that there are more launches. Also, you're going to extend that we are reasonably topical. Our counterinterpretation checks this and disclosure checks. They knew that after, but we sh that they should have designed a strategy to beat it. We're not extra, t extra, topical, uh, extra topical US owned satellites. That is our one MC evidence. Um, specifically, it's the, uh, the, it's the, well, the court case is going to be the biggest impact now. It proves that even if they win, that commercial <laughs> satellites are owned, that commercial satellites would be owned not by the U.S. Our evidence indicates that the commercial entities are operating under the USFG. It has it lists like three or four different court cases that prove this. Also, um, we meet their definition. Literally, we uh, increase the number of satellites. We're reasonably topical. They had offense on this in the argument. And you're not going to evaluate this debate on competing interpretations. This is going to create a race for debate where they are always trying to find a definition that excludes our permanent. This distracts from legit substantive education about the topic. Education is probably a thing you want to consider because the most important factor in debate is the, the, where you're going to pull the trigger. The affirmative is reasonably top of means you're not going to vote on topicality. Also, they uh, extend, they make a breadth versus depth argument, but. You're not going to look here because the point where we are having repetitive debates means that the depth, depth argument, uh, the depth of education that we would get from having only three affirmatives is not going to be, uh, is, which is going to be repetitive. We're only going to, we're literally going to know a lot about the same arguments. We're not going to know a lot about. We're not going to ever go in depth. The reason why a breadth versus depth in breadth versus depth usually is going to win the debate is because we learn about a lot about the things that are happening in round. But when the things that are happening in round are the same every single round, it means you're not going to vote uh, on breadth versus depth. They said, they said that we're not reading a meaning of counterinterpretation, but I, that was uh, above. Um, they say that, okay, but you're not going to buy the top of this round. They are not doing enough work. Uh, they're just reading the coaches' blocks. There's no comparative analysis in the 2 and R. 
of why they're literally dropping the entire line to line. We meet this where you pull the trigger. Yeah, we meet this where you pull the trigger. We have proven that commercial satellites are owned by the U.S. and entities that are operating under the USFG owns commercial uh, owns uh, entities operating under the USFG are owned by the USFG. We're not, we're not effectually topical. Yeah, we're not effectually topical. Plan. Immediate, immediate what? Increase in satellite launches. Okay. Immediate, we're not just because we're not immediate increase in satellite launches, it doesn't mean that we're not actually possible. We lead to an increase because we allow for more launches to occur. That's the entirety of our space industry advantage, which you can see, which probably uh, means that assuming we're top, we'll be getting higher risk of a head advantage. Uh, they are, we're top. We don't want any frequency notions influence your decisions. Right, <laughs> <laughs>